We can only see a small part of the eye. The whole eye is like an orb, about the size of a ping pong ball, which is protected from the dust and weather of the outside world by a transparent cornea. Of course, the cornea must be transparent so that light from outside can come in through the black spot in the middle of the eye, which we call the pupil. The color area around the pupil, which can be blue, brown, or green, is called the iris. The iris is the muscle of the eye which can flex to open up the iris and let more light in, or relax, which closes up the iris and block more of the light from outside. So when it's dark, the pupil becomes larger, and when it's bright outside, the pupil becomes smaller. Behind the iris is the lens, which bends the light so that all the light that comes in from the outside hits the same spot in the back of the eye, which we call the retina. The retina has nerve cells that send signals to the brain through the optic nerve, and it's only when these signals have reached the brain's visual cortex that we understand what we see. Before the light reaches the retina, it passes through the vitreous, where everything is reduced and turned upside down, but the images are turned back straight as it's picked up by the brain. If you are nearsighted, the lens in your eye breaks the light too much and the light rays cross before they reach all the way back to the retina. But luckily, we can fix that today by wearing glasses with a dispersing lens which lets the light reach further back into the eye to hit the retina. A long-sighted person does not see that well because the light rays don't cross before they hit the posterior wall with the retina, but we can just as easily correct this problem by wearing glasses with a convex lens.